Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do a general reading for my beloveds. I will all is bliss. I will everyone as well. I will you all enjoyed your weekend. Um, I had a beautiful event take place last night, um, and I understand the reason why, uh, because today is a very significant day. It marks two years since my beautiful grandmother, my baba, my mama, <laughs> uh, my umi, you know, she um, returned into the spirit realm on this day two years ago. So it's a very, um, it's a, obviously, a, um, it's a sad day, but it's also a day of rejoicing because last night um, I was awakened out of my rest. Uh, to an owl hooting out of my window, outside of my window. Um, and what made it so special was because when I looked at the time, I actually recorded the video. So when I recorded the video and looked at the time, it was 3.58. And um, that reduces to seven. And so seven is a very, we all know it's a very spiritual number. It's an angelic number, uh, but that also speaks to intuition. Um, and I knew... Um, and could feel uh, the necessity to create like energetic blocks, um, not to spread myself too thin. Um, I'm starting to feel like a lot of people is pulling on my energy. And, um, you know, so I feel like that was like a reminder for my grandmother um, to kind of protect my, sp my space, my energy. Um, so for anyone that has been trying to re reach out to me, that is the reason why um, I did not, um, reach out or communicate because I had to like preserve my energy. Um, I have a lot of people, you know, that call me on a daily basis, um, message me on a daily basis. Um, and while I am empathic and can, you know, uh, be compassionate to people's needs and, and people's circumstances, I also have to be mindful not to spread myself too thin. So for some of you all, you may find yourselves, um, experiencing that as well. Uh, where you may need to create like energetic blocks, uh, energetic boundaries rather, uh, so as not to just, you know, overexert yourself. Um, we have right now Brandy, I want to be down playing. Um, so I feel like there's a lot of people that just kind of want to be down because they may see that you are on your way up. And I feel like uh, what's most important for you Scorpios is to not lose sight of of your goals, of your mission, um, and to not get distracted uh, by people, you know, who may just want to be down because they see that you are kind of like having some, um, some major breakthroughs in your lives or having some sort of success. Because it's like, if they weren't there for you when you wasn't as successful, you have to question whether or not they need, they, they deserve to be there when you are, you know, having that success. Some of these people may have completely um, just kind of like disowned you or just ghosted you, <laughs> you know, um, because they didn't see your worth and value. And now that you have uh, kind of ascended in many ways, now they want to come back because they want to be down. So it's almost like they now want to, you know, kind of be around you because you're successful, but they weren't there when you were, you know, crying, blood, sweat, and tears, um, when you were really like working hard to achieve those goals, when you were working on those endeavors, when you were, um, trying to accomplish whatever this, this is that you're now having the success. So it's like, be mindful because some people just want to be down. They just want to ride your coattail. And if they weren't there, then they don't deserve to be there when you're reaping the benefits. Um, with Kim is singing right now, matter of time. So yeah, you know, they didn't have the time for you before. So why are they making the time for you now? That's the question that you need to ask yourself. So before I delve any deeper, that's just from the, um, intuitive messages. Um, I feel like the divine is telling you to, to really devote more time to yourselves, to really do more, um, internal work, soul searching, um, for, for four on the clock. So that is a, a divine download for some of you all to really stand in your power and to know your worth at the end of the day. Um, and to use your own discernment to, to not allow people 
to tell you things, but you know, just use discernment. You'll be able to discern uh, what someone is saying if you just take the time to really assess things and look at things, um, you know, with that first eye. So before we delve any deeper, um, I would like to call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Baba Ogun, Mama Oya, and Mama Yemenya to bless me with the intuition and the discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. This is a general reading for anyone who may be new. Welcome. I too am a Scorpio. I am empathic. I am intuitive. And I'm also clairaudient, which is why I incorporate music into the readings. And they do blend in beautifully with the cards. Um, this is a general reading. So that means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force a story to be your story. You are more than just your sun sign. So check your Mercury, check your Moon, check your Rising, check your Mars, check your Venus. Just check your other placements to see if there is a message there for you. This is also a timeless reading. So do um, know that if you are here clicking on this video, that was the divine timing that was intended for you to do so. So let's go ahead and dive in, tap in, tune in. Um, on the split, we have uh, Wiccan Read Ethos and we have Hand Fasting Union. So some of you all, I feel like you all have a beautiful union that's about to develop. Um, and this is a matter of divine timing uh, because we have matter of time. Pardon my son. He's in the background. Salud, son. <clears throat> You're welcome. And um, I do feel like um, there is a beautiful connection. And this may be something that I feel like a lot of you all may have manifested. Uh, because I see this Wiccan read and it says, bide the Wiccan law, ye must. So for some of you all, um, if you are doing certain love spells or if you're doing something where you are, um, you know, taking someone's free will away or if someone is doing that to you all, Scorpios, I feel like there's a matter of time um, where, you know, they're going to receive some sort of karma. It's got like I'm hearing karmic justice because maybe someone was doing something to block a beautiful divine union. As you can see here, um, there's a man and a woman and they're holding hands and it says hand fasting. And then you see these two people jumping up for joy. So there's been some sort of like breakthrough. So there's someone who is doing something um, going against some sort of, you know, universal law or uh, karmic law. Um, doing something unjust to perhaps try to take or stop or block these two from coming into union. And I feel like it's a matter of time before the I'm hearing the shit hits the fan where this person is going to be exposed. Um, they're going to be found out. Um, and these two who are meant to be together who this individual, whoever this is, who's trying to block and separate these two, they're going to come together in a matter of time. Um, and this is by Kim. So whoever this is um, that you are meant to come into union with, I feel like you two have a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of passion. Uh, and maybe this is like a karmic who is very pissed off um, at the fact that the two of you share that chemistry or that their person, whoever they're with, feels this strong longing and yearning for you. Um, I feel like this is someone, um, you know, this is not an ex, but I feel this is someone with whom it could be tied up. So whoever this is, it's a matter of time before they come to you because I feel like they're in a karmic relationship right now and it's going to be a matter of time before they come to you, but they have to break free from someone who was kind of taking away their free liberty, their will, uh, through doing some sort of like ritual work or love spells or, um, you know, separation spells. And right now we have, um, Bilal, 
uh, feature, uh, Common featuring Bilal, and this is called Star 69 PS with Love. So with that message, I feel like this person could be messaging you all telepathically, um, communicating with you all. You all know that you have a twin flame that is coming in for you. And I feel like with that Star 69, um, maybe some of you all are receiving calls and then the phone call hangs up, or maybe you're receiving um, some sort of intuitive downloads or some sort of telepathic messages, or maybe you're having these vivid dreams, and it's because you have a twin flame that's kind of making the connection. Um, they're connecting with you um, from a different dimension. I feel like in the 5D, the two of you are connected, but in this 3D reality, it is yet to manifest or develop. Um, and so I feel like this person is communicating with you um, the love they share with you, the love they have, 1010. Both of you are um, going through major transformations and changes and shifts. This person is breaking free from someone who um, is their karmic. I feel like Scorpios, you've just completed a karmic cycle and I feel like whoever you're attracting is also wrapping up a karmic cycle, but they are coming to you in a matter of time, according to Kim. And so right now we have Lady Goddess, feminine. So you are the divine feminine ladies. Um, this person sees you as beautiful. I feel many of you have um, manifested this person into your lives. You can feel their presence. I feel you're highly intuitive, very clairvoyant. Um, and I also feel that you all are very like creative, like you're tapping into your uh, spiritual uh, gifts, talents, um, and you could feel this person's coming in. Look at that. The death card is here. I didn't even see that. So you have gone through uh, a major shift ending. It was a painful ending, but I feel like you've transformed into this divine feminine. So now you know your worth, you know your value, you will never sell yourself short. And I feel like your person may have been triggered by you. Even though this says Lady Goddess, this is also for the masculines who are also in that divine masculine energy, that man, that, um, you know, that gentleman, that, that God, you know, that masculine energy. And it's because you have, uh, you've graduated, you've gone through some level of ascension through a painful ending, but this ending was definitely, um, meant for you to experience that, um, because it brought you to a sense of awareness. It's brought you to a sense of, um, purpose, knowing your worth, um, valuing yourself, loving yourself, um, practicing self-discipline and not allowing others to mistreat you or to use you. As I said with this, you know, star six, nine, I definitely feel someone sees you as like maybe wish fulfillment. Um, this is someone who has a lot of, um, you know, sexual fantasies about you. Maybe they, you know, have these, uh, these intimate thoughts of, you know, having some sort of 69, um, you know, positions, you know, they, they really see you as someone that's like a, a powerful tantric partner, sexual tantric partner. Um, you know, I'm hearing the word Kundalini. Um, and so I feel like, you know, maybe you're someone that really activates them. Maybe you, um, or someone that triggers them in some way where maybe they, you know, please themselves to thoughts of you, to visions of you. Uh, with this card, um, there are boundaries uh, set. So maybe, you know, this person is wanting to, you know, cut, you know, cut um, or clear the air, I'm hearing, uh, because maybe there's a sense of no communication. Maybe this is like a secret admirer. And maybe this is someone that you may have cut off um, maybe you've created space because you may, maybe felt like uh, someone was kind of taking you for granted or didn't appreciate you. Um, now they see your worth and now they see your value. I feel like because you are seen as like wish fulfillment, this person definitely uh, will communicate, uh, will express these feelings, these thoughts that they have. So let's go ahead and see what we got coming and going out going on. I'm going to cut the deck. That's just what I was picking up intuitively for some of you all. And this is the Witch's Wisdom um, deck. So you've definitely gone through major, major life changes. There was um, painful endings, but as I said, you know, you, you've grown, you've matured, you've mastered yourself. My throat chakra is blocking. So I definitely am feeling very strongly that someone is trying to interfere with this connection. Like, you know, trying to block someone because with that card, the read, 
um, you know, someone is definitely um, taking someone's free will away. And I feel it's a lady. I feel like it's, you know, that karmic that I was picking up on. So whoever your person is, feminines, um, even if you're masculine, there's a feminine energy. Um, it could be someone that could be even a mother, a maternal energy, um, a karmic. Uh, someone is trying to block a union from developing, but it's a matter of time before this union comes into fruition. Um, because that is your lady is what I'm picking up. So what we have here is alchemist. And this says, um, this says um, herbal kitchen. So many of you, like I said, wish fulfillment. The alchemist is the um, star energy. And remember, we just had star six, nine. And on the bottom, we have intuition, spirit. So I am feeling very strongly that a lot of you are very aware. Um, when I think of intuition, I feel um, you're using discernment. And that's probably why you are, you know, co-creating with source at this time, uh, because you've, you've learned how to heal thyself. Um, you've learned how to apply the tools, the techniques, um, to, to heal thyself, to grow. Um, you have matured into this divine feminine, the lady, um, that card showed up, you know, and this is about you utilizing your skills and talents in a way to not only heal yourself, but to now heal others. So you are, you know, very capable of transmuting negative energy and, and, you know, co-creating with source to become the conduit of change, not only in your life, but in others' lives. So it's like you, whatever painful circumstances that you have endured, it's taught you how to, to heal thyself. It's taught you how to release what no longer serves you. Um, I feel that, you know, as you co-created with source, you've also sent up like prayers and petitions. Um, you've asked for strength. You've asked for, you know, the ability to persevere through some of the difficulties. And this is why now there's a sense of like wish fulfillment because you've become the alchemist. So you've channeled a lot of the energy. You've received a lot of the divine downloads. And that made you feel like you had infinite possibilities, you know. Um, and now there's a sense of like forward movement. There's a sense of, you know, progress and success coming in for you. And it's because you... Uh, were absolutely proactive um, and you took your power back. You realized that you were the divine feminine, the lady. You were the divine masculine, the male um, or the um, gentleman um, that could change your reality uh, because you had to change your mind. When you change your mind or you change your thoughts, you change your reality and that's exactly what you did. And your intuition told you. I feel like in the past there were things binding you and keeping you stuck because this is like chains. Um, this is something that's like keeping you bound. Um, so there was some sort of bondage. But I feel like you've learned to transmute that negativity. You saw beyond some sort of illusion, some sort of veil. And I feel like it was because of your spirit team giving you some sort of downloads um, and you followed your intuition. Um, and it's successfully leading you to your power, um, to taking your power back because I feel like someone rendered you powerless for a long time. And now you are recognizing that you are the lady, um, that you are the divine feminine. It's 1818. So that reduces to nine. So there's positive changes. So all of the, you know, the stuck and stagnant energy is now moving forward. So things are changing for the better. And it's because the divine has noticed um, that you were very proactive, that you were also like very resilient in achieving some, some, something personal for yourselves, whether that's healing, happiness. Um, maybe there was some sort of, um, you know, career endeavor that you are embarking on or business endeavor that you were pursuing. It's like you channeled your energy into something different and became the alchemist where you started to create the potions and elixirs to your own life. And so as, you know, being that lady, that divine feminine or that, that gentleman, that divine masculine has absolutely awakened you to your power. So that's beautiful. Okay. So we got a couple of cards. So let's see what this is. And then we have this one here. See that? So chalice fulfillment. So this is not only speaking to you having new love coming in, where someone is going to see you feminines as their lady, their divine feminine. Remember I said someone is really very passionate and they feel very, um, they feel very emotionally, um, 
attracted to you, drawn to you. They're yearning for you. I feel like this person definitely loves you dearly. And I feel like because you've healed yourselves, it's like you're now allowing love to come in. You, you're being more receptive to love. A lot of you have manifested this love. A lot of you, as I said, this is someone that is your divine partner. And because someone was manipulating the energy, they were blocking this divine union from coming into fruition. But because you're the alchemist and you know how to co-create with source, you have absolutely manifested what's yours to you. And so this person's coming in and it was just 2013 and that's 3-3. Three, three. So I feel like that 3-3 three, three reduces to 6. So that's telling me that this is a love connection because the 6 is the lovers. And so with this Ace of Cups, you have new love, a brand new um you know, relationship connection. This is someone that's going to treat you very well. I feel someone is um, feeling like, you know, they that you will emotionally fulfill them and vice versa. They'll definitely speak your love language. Um, and I feel with Bobby Brown, um, this is called Don't Be Cruel. So, you know, from some of you all, you have to open up. You have to be receptive. Um, don't have your guard up too much uh, where you don't allow love in. Because not only, you know, you know, some of us misinterpret, you know, protecting ourselves and having boundaries. Not only are you, you know, blocking out those that could potentially hurt you, but you could also block out those that could potentially love you. So the divine is reminding you, don't be cruel. Um, you know, because someone is coming to love you 21, 21 again, 33 again, six, this person is coming in to love you. This is a spiritual union. This is someone that will speak your love language. This is someone that's emotionally intelligent, very attentive, someone very um, affectionate. Um, I thought this person is also very honest. Um, and I feel grounded because when I hear the name, um, Brown or, you know, this is by Bobby Brown. So I do feel like this person will ground you. And I feel like you know everything that I'm telling you because I feel you've manifested it. That you've actually prayed for this and then there's wish fulfillment. Like what you've prayed for is here. So a lot of you all are praying for, you know, a divine connection, a divine counterpart. And so we have here spell. What did I say? You manifested this. So you've manifested this. Some of you all, like I said, um, don't, don't ever you know, um, take away someone's free will. So if you are doing love spells, if you are doing anything to manifest this, make sure you're not taking away someone's free spell, free will, you know, um, you can do whatever you want with yourself and just ask for what you desire, but never take away someone's free will, because I do feel like that's, um, you know, why would you want to, you know what I'm saying? But this also could speak to someone who was trying to, um, you know, block, you know, perhaps this beautiful love connection. And I feel like the divine is saying that you are absolutely going to manifest what you want, regardless of whatever spells anyone is trying to put out there. I feel like you're going to, you know, receive wish fulfillment or receive this, this, um, this, um, whatever you've been setting your intention on, you're going to receive it. And with this feather here, I feel like your angels and your guides are literally like helping you um, to, to, um, bring the right type of person. Um, they received your, like I said, your prayers and petitions. So they know exactly what you're looking for. So they're going to make sure to bring the right person. And with don't be cruel, I'm also feeling like, you know, there is a very dark energy trying to, um, you know, block this connection. You know, they're trying to block this connection because they know, um, just how special it is. This could also just be like demonic energies trying to block you, but your angels and guides are, you know, definitely um, alerting you, giving you downloads. You're protected with this security. I also feel, remember I was picking up, you know, that you all need to do like energetic blocks or create energetic boundaries. Rather, I keep saying energetic blocks and that's because someone's trying to block your energy. Um, and that's what the spell is about with manifestation. Um, I feel like, you know, whatever this spell is that someone is, um, sending, I feel like you're manifesting the protection you need. Um, because with your angels, you know, they're telling you, they're giving you the downlight, like down, the, the downloads to, you know, secure yourselves, you know, to protect your home, to protect your, your, your 
physical body, wear your protective amulet, say your prayers, call upon your angels, guides, your ascended masters. Um, I do feel with all of these stars that you are protected, that you have a lot of protection around you. Um, but I also feel like they're letting you know that there is someone trying to manipulate the energy with some sort of love spells, blockages, or binding spells, separation spells, freezing spells. So just be mindful. And this is someone cool hearted and cruel. I feel intuitively, you know, because it's 1006 on my um, iPod cl um, clock. So I do feel like you, you're fully aware, which is why you're, you know, transmuting all of that negativity and you're still bringing, you know, in or you're still manifesting what you want. I feel like you're also very intuitive and very sensitive to energy right now. And these cards keep, see this? Look, protection. So it says magic circle. So create a, a, a protective circle around yourselves. Um, fiery wall of protection I'm hearing. Call upon Archangel Mikael for protection. Call upon Baba Ogun for protection. I specifically call upon those two powerful um, um, gods and deities and angels because they carry the sword and that sword could cut through the illusions um, by those who are trying to entrap you. So it's like, as I'm speaking to you needing to protect yourselves, I feel like, you know, your angels are absolutely protecting you, you know, because it says protection. So you are protected from any spell work that anyone may be potentially doing. And this person is cruel. They are evil. They have evil intentions contained. They're trying to keep someone stuck, bound. Remember, this is what I was picking up earlier. Um... Because remember, you had that right, the card of, um, and it was saying something about laws. And I was saying someone was manipulating someone's energy, taking away their free will. But as I see these ores, um, these orbs of light here, I am feeling like someone is finally like um, breaking free from something. Um, I feel their angels and ancestors are, are absolutely... Um, you know, stepping in because someone is trying to manipulate the energy, trying to keep someone contained, um, trying to keep someone stuck. So they are doing spell work and it is showing up very strongly here. And with the don't be cruel, I do feel like this is someone that's your divine partner who has a very evil energy um, around them, trying to block them from leaving, um, trying to block them from having a brand new start because we have sister playing a brand new so this is someone who doesn't want um, the person that is meant for you, Scorpios, whoever you're attracting into your lives. They have a karmic um, that they are still, you know, breaking free from that doesn't want them to have a brand new start or a brand new love connection with you. So someone is resorting to doing love spells to block this connection. And the divine is telling you to protect yourselves. Also protect your... Um, you know, even if you don't know who this is, because I feel like a lot of y'all don't even know who this uh, person is that you're attracting. Um, I feel like this is like almost like past life, um, you know, connection. I feel like, you know, definitely protect yourselves and protect this union, which I feel you're already doing because you are the alchemist. And so, you know, I do feel this is a protected union as well. I feel like, you know, because the angels and ancestors are all around this um, situation, you know, this connection, I feel like they are absolutely bringing you into union with this person, regardless of what someone else is doing. And this came out in the former reading. So you have a brand, brand new love. You see this? We got balance. So someone is doing their shadow work, you know, so they're going through the dark night of the soul. And I feel like you all have just come out of this. Um, you've just completed that, um, that cycle, that karmic lesson, you know, and now you're having some sort of balance in your life. You've gained equilibrium. And I feel like your person now is going through the same thing because you all know that you will mirror uh, your person, you know. So um, this is the reason why they're not coming in as of yet is because they're still wrapping up a cycle, whoever your person is. Like I said, I feel strongly like twin flame or past life connection. And this is someone that is going to bring in a brand new love connection, a brand new love ship for you, especially with this ace of cups here. And we have staff stability. So this is a yet another mention of a brand new beginning. This is like, you know, 
something new coming in, something developing. And with this staff, you know, this is like a phallic symbol. So what did I say about this person being drawn to you, being very attracted to you? You know, and I was picking up a secret admirer before. So this person feels, you know, that you are, you know, very like stable in your life and it's very attractive. Um, maybe some of you all, this is, um, you know, you've, you've had a tower moment and now you've like rebuilt, you know, on more solid foundation. So now you have security, stability. I feel like strongly there's this sense of, you know, a new beginning for you all. And this person is wanting to offer, you know, a new love connection. Like they want to offer you this cup of love. You know, the divine is blessing you with, you know, some new passionate beginning. Some of you all may have, you know, a lot of success in your lives, in your career, maybe even in business. And because I see this masculine is wearing, you know, a ring, I do feel like this could lead to a very um, strong commitment, you know, where you will be married to someone in a commitment. And this is a brand new love ship. And we have clearance. So see that someone is like clearing out this negative, um, you know, this negative cycle. It's been very toxic. They've had someone doing magic spells and keeping them bound. And they're unhappy. And they're looking for something brand new. They're looking to come into union with their divine counterpart as well. And so there's a clearance that's necessary. This is like clearing up the old, releasing the old. So your person is clearing up this cycle, just as I was picking up. And they want something brand new. They want something real. They want something that's going to make them feel brand new. So on the bottom of the deck, we have peace. And this is Irene. So there's no need to worry. Better days are ahead. Things are working out beautifully. Excuse me. So just as I said, this is a divine, divinely protected union. We see that here. So there's no need for you all to worry because things are working out beautifully according to Irene. This angelic presence, this divine feminine is literally saying that your angels and guides are working behind the scenes to bring this union into fruition. We have the Eurythmics, sweet dreams. So you will receive wish fulfillment and this person will bring balance. You see these two dolphins, they're in sync, you know. And this is about balance. So you and this person, they will speak your love language. There will be emotional fulfillment, contentment, joy, peace, happiness, expansion, growth. I feel your children will also be elated and happy. All of your needs, wants, and desires are, are absolutely going to be, they're going to be fulfilled, you know. But I feel intuitively your person is um, communicating with you and to you. You know that. You are the sorceress with this Rhiannon card. I feel strongly that there could be messages coming to you via your dreams. According to your rhythmics, we have sweet dreams. Some of you are having some really lucid dreams about a person that you've never met before or about a love, you know, a love connection. And this person brings balance. And I feel like I'm hearing that, you know, you are picking up these messages intuitively. And the divine is saying, you're magical. You're manifesting this. Because we do see here with manifestation, some of you all have been calling in your divine um, counterpart because you are the alchemist. So you're creating the potions and elixirs to life. So some of you all are creating certain love spells, love potions, you know. And, you know, as long as you're not manipulating anyone's energy, you're absolutely, you know, setting your intentions and things are happening in divine timing, I feel like you're, you're, you're going to see some sort of, um, you know, you're going to see some sort of, uh, union develop here. And this is a beautiful love connection. This is going to be like a wish fulfillment for you all, you know, especially with sweet dreams. Like you've dreamt of this, you've prayed for this, you've asked for this, you've called this in, you've manifested this ultimately. And this person is like someone that you're going to, you know, have a strong commitment with this card. Um, was sticking out. So many of you may need to go outside to get some divine downloads, you know, sit by a tree. I feel like the fairies may have some messages for you because it says go outside. You've been indoors too long. So some of you all may need to breathe in some, some fresh prana. I'm going to put this back in. It didn't fall out, but it was sticking out on the side. So, so some of you all may need to like literally, you know, go outside so that you can receive a download. You may have some sort of like, 
you know, animal totem cross your path. And that's a divine message. That's the way your angels and your ancestors will communicate with you, you know, through some sort of divine intervention, synchronized act, okay? So those cards want to hop out. Bottom of the deck, inner wisdom. And there goes that owl I was telling you all that I heard hooting outside of my window. So trust your inner gumption. Remember, I was picking up strongly that you may feel um, that you have to create an energetic boundary. You know, um, I am feeling like, you know, especially with this protection card, um, that it is necessary to create energetic boundaries because you may have someone trying to manipulate your energy, whether they, you know, whether it's consciously or subconsciously, um, trust your inner gumption, trust what you feel, trust what you know, um, definitely protect your energy. This is what I'm picking up with all night long. Some of you all may find yourselves waking up during witching hours and that's because you do have someone absolutely manipulating the energy and you're picking up on it because you're very sensitive. You're very intuitive as we see here with this inner wisdom and the divine is telling you, you know what to do. So trust what you know and take action without delay. So this is like, you know, that, that, that warning shot telling you that whatever you're feeling, whatever it is you're sensing, that's exactly what you need to do. So if you may need to take some time to go outside to just sit and meditate in silence, whether that's by a body of water, an ocean, a lake, a pond, a river, a stream, um, you know, under a tree, you know, but just go outside because I do feel like um, there is someone who's cruel. Remember Bobby Brown? Um, that is trying to manipulate your energy. And I do feel like with all night long, this person could be um, manipulating the energy um, <clears throat> by doing certain spells, blockages, binding spells, freezing spells. And I feel your angels are protecting you from this, but they're also trying to alarm you and alert you. Uh, confirmation. 36, 36 on the clock, 9, 9. So something is definitely changing. Um, and this person doesn't want something to change. That's why they're being very steadfast. So you have to be just as um, um, persistent, you know, in this process as well. Because somebody is definitely up during which and hours manipulating your energy. So we have um, divine passion. So there is this divine yearning that someone feels. Um, this yearning, this calling. And I feel like maybe some of you all, like I said, um, you know, may started to discover like your spiritual gifts. Some of you all realize that you were the alchemist, that you co-create with source. You realize that you are very spiritual beings. Uh, my throat is getting blocked yet again. So someone's definitely trying to block a divine union. This person that's being blocked has this passion that's erupting and it cannot go unanswered for any longer and someone is fearing an ending and it's 37 37 so <clears throat> and I feel like because of the work you're doing the spiritual work you're doing it's helping your person to awaken to this divine union it's helping your person awaken to the fact that they are you know connected to some incubus energy and they have this divine passion so it's like they're going to be honest with themselves and they're going to go where their heart is. They're going to go towards what their heart desires, opposed to, you know, what someone, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, opposed to being with someone that is um, manipulative and conniving. So next we have Sarasvati, the arts. Many of you all um, have a love, a deep love, a deep passion for music. Music is your sanctuary, your safe space. I feel like you and someone may listen to music or maybe someone is receiving messages clairaudiently. Um, and this is awakening them to the love that they want. This is, you know, this is like awakening them to the love that they desire. You know, someone that's going to love them right. Someone that's going to give them, you know, what they're willing to give, you know, which is, you know, a sense of like, divine protection the swan definitely denotes you know that there is you know deep passion deep love um and a spiritual connection here i feel someone is like hearing songs that remind them of love 
they're listening to love songs and it's like the lyrics of the songs are like somehow activating them and awakening them it's like the it, music is someone's sanctuary this is their sanctuary their safe space inner goddess see this someone is trying to block this this beautiful divine feminine from coming into union with their divine masculine this is like you have whatever you've been doing and they're coming because if you look this this bird is here so there will be communication somebody cannot block you know what the divine you know has for you they're trying they're trying with their spells but even the angels you know, the angels see this and they're intervening. They're not allowing someone's spells to interfere with this connection. And I feel someone is absolutely like just attracted to your beauty. They're very attracted to you sexually. There is a sense that you have just focused on the self. You, 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 when you love that self and you focus on self-care and when you know your value, when you know your worth, you're in harmony. You know, you're in alignment. And I feel like that's what's bringing your person um, to you. That's what's drawing them to you. Because I feel like this also, like I said, this is just someone who's, according to Carl Thomas, very emotional about you. It's like they're tapping in and tuning into their emotions. Maybe this is something they blocked before. This is because someone was trying, you know, to block this union. So maybe they were like deceiving themselves that they didn't have feelings because they was with someone um, but I'm, I don't know why I keep hearing secret admirer because when I see this feather and I see, you know, maybe somebody stumbled upon a message, a letter, a text, an email that someone was penning, maybe in their draft, in their email, somebody saw something that they was, um, typing or they was preparing to send to you. And this made them really upset. And so they did something to try to block a connection. But I see here that Someone is just drawn to you. They feel emotions towards you. They feel that you will fulfill them emotionally, you know? And with don't back down, this is why the divine was telling you to protect yourself. Don't back down from protecting yourselves. This is about you protecting what's right, protecting your heart, protecting love. So you got to fight for not only yourself, but for your divine partner. Because I feel like they're dealing with some sort of, you know, demon seed <laughs> and it says stand up for what you believe in. i feel like your person is also doing that like they're taking their power back and they're going to fight back because they have these emotions towards you or for you and not towards this other person and that's what's drawing this person to be very like desperate this is desperation when you got to create and craft love spells to bring somebody or to keep somebody with you see this i can't make this shit up this is your divine counterpart past life and this is why there's balance. So remember I said that there's also, you know, a strong shadowing effect. Like you and your person will shadow one another because you are divine counterpart. So what you experience and go through in your life, your person will also experience and go through. And this emotion is what's pulling the two of you together. 42, 42, 6, 6 again. So this is someone that you have a very strong connection with. And that three tells me that this person is being very strong. This is someone who has to heal from some sort of, you know, they're doing their shadow work. So they're going through a process of healing. They're going through a process of awakening to the truth. Maybe this is someone who fears being vulnerable, fears love, or feared, um, you know, expressing something to you because that three is the solar plexus. So I do feel like, you know, there's a sense that someone needs to stand in their power, be courageous, you know, have, exhibit some strength and courage and wisdom. But this is divine, divine union. This is your past life love, twin flame connection. That's why you're feeling the strong urge, you know, the strong connection. You know, whether, even if you don't have someone in particular, it's just like you could feel somebody coming in. And I feel your person's also feeling that, which is what's kind of triggering them and activating them to do their work. But this person brings balance into your life and you will do the same. And it's because the two of you are divine counterparts. Like you can't see this unconditional love and the divine and mother Mary Magdalene. Like this is telling you there's beautiful love here. And you know this because you've manifested it. 
So this stability, you're going to have a stable, strong, solid connection. You want someone that's going to love you unconditionally, not somebody that's going to be flighty, in and out, unreliable. Somebody who's going to be that playboy, playgirl, have this revolving door or breadcrumbing you. No, you're going to have someone who's going to love you unconditionally. Good, bad, indifferent, they'll be there. They'll be your saving grace. They'll be someone supportive. You know what I'm saying? They'll be your rock. They'll be your protector, your provider. They'll be someone nurturing and loving. You've manifested this. You've created this because you've manifested this. That's why this is here as well. Because you've manifested this. As the alchemist, you sent up those prayers and petitions. You've definitely were someone who was um, utilizing your own skills and talents, you know, to manifest what you desire. And I feel like with this protection, you know, your person isn't going to back down any, lo any longer. And they're going to have to break someone's heart. We got new edition, N.E. Heartbreak. So this person is going to have to break someone's heart in order to come towards you. And that's why that person with the don't be cruel, Bobby Brown, you know what I'm saying? This, this person is very angry, very upset. Manifestation. See, I can't make this shit up. You're manifesting someone new into your life that you have a past life connection with. That's why you feel this sense of like this strong emotional pull on your heartstring. You see this? It's about to change. 45, 45, 9, 9. Something emotional is changing for you. This is like emotional fulfillment, wish fulfillment. And I feel like it's because you practice self-love, self-care. When you love yourself, then you attract people who are going to love you right. And I feel like this person is going to have to break this, this evil, cruel person's heart because they are drawn to you with this inner goddess. They're drawn and and pulled to you. And they will communicate this. And they want victory. She, this bird is carrying wreaths. And wreaths always denote some sort of breakthrough, victory, success. And there goes the horn, honk, uh, the train honking its horn. So that's confirmation. Your angels are definitely protecting this union. This is a spiritual union. And I'm hearing the word uh, incubating. So this is all happening behind the scenes. And it's like the divine is saying, we heard your prayers. We heard your petition because the alchemist is like the star card to me. I just see the star as, you know, having to heal from pain, from trauma, from heartbreak, just like new edition is singing. But I feel like it opened you up to your divine passion. It allowed you to be more honest, to be more forthcoming to be more true you know to be true to yourself and by you opening up your heart chakra and doing what was righteous and just and you know being honest now that's opening you up to love you know to someone's love you know and I feel a lot of you have some sort of musical talents and gifts and skills and I feel this too is very healing um, but like I said, someone also could be hearing songs that remind them of you, remind them of love. And I do feel this is like a twin flame or soulmate connection. 47, 47 on the clock here. So that's 11, 11 again. So this definitely is like a twin flame connection, a soulmate. This is someone from a past life, obviously, because we see this past life card. It says this situation definitely involves your past life memories. And so this person and you have gone through some sort of you know, separation, and this caused a lot of heartbreak, but I feel like you're here in this reality at this same time, in this space and time, to come back into union, and so we have on the bottom of the deck, we have domestic harmony, what did I say, come back into union, and now you have domestic harmony, so you will be coming back into domestic harmony with your person, and you know this, why, because you manifested this, yet again, I can show you the cards, look at this, 46, 46, so, you know, every ending denotes a new beginning. So someone, you both had to end a connection, a domestic relationship. Maybe the both of you were in different partnerships, relationships with other people, but they were karmics. And those relationships has, has to end in order for you to come into a new beginning. You know, you, you have, it's just a matter of time, like Kim said. So in a matter of time, you and your person will absolutely 
be together. And I feel like this is going to be a domestic harmony and there's not going to be a lot of happy folks, you know, because there's some folks who's trying to hold on to you, cling to you. They want to be down all of a sudden. They want to be on Team Scorpio when in the past maybe, you know, they were against you, you know. This could be family, friends. You're having some new beginning here. It's obvious because you also had this staff card. So this is like, you know, some sort of, see that? Completion. Can't make this shit up. And so somebody has to break someone else's heart. So they're going through, you know, an ending. This is like a completion of a cycle. So why is Chalices Sarasvati here? So someone has to wrap up a cycle and the next thing, you know, and the next step will be coming into union. Look at that. Completion is here again on the bottom of the deck. So we have effort. See that? They're going to start making the effort. And I feel like music has awakened someone. Someone has received some sort of major download. Listening to lyrics has awakened them to love. What love is, what love feels like, you know, has awakened them to healing themselves. Like they need to heal themselves. They need to release or break free from something that is making them feel you know, unfulfilled. They need to make the effort if they want some sort of stability in their life. This number four is like the 1111, so they got to make the effort to get you. And we have pain and torture, so whoever they were with has like caused a lot of pain, caused, you know, them to feel like tortured because like I said before, someone is, is being manipulated, like their free will is being taken away from them. And it's like painful. You know, it's like torture to be in separation of their divine feminine, their divine masculine. And this is by Jadakus. So someone is absolutely like the music. You know, some of you could be, you know, like I said, clairaudient. Maybe your person is clairaudient and they know that they need to make the effort in order for there to be stability. They know they need to compromise in order for there to be stability. They know they need to set, you know, some sort of solid foundation. They can't build a relationship with you on lies and deceit. And maybe that's what they did with this person. You know, maybe that's where the, the, the you know, this, this aha moment is coming in as they realize they can't, they can't trust this person and we have perseverance. So remember I was saying you have to be persistent. Someone is going to persevere past this spell work, you know, because remember matter of time, the veil will be removed. This person is going to work hard to come towards you. This is green. They have love for you. So their love for you is what's helping them to persevere past whatever spells, love spells, binding or separation spells. This person has this, they're drawn to you magnetically, yearning for you. This is what's helping them. This heart chakra, the number four is the heart chakra. So their love for you is what's persevering. Their desire, their emotional fulfillment is with you not with this other person manipulating their energy. And they may have had that aha moment. They may have awakened to the truth and the fact that, you know, maybe somebody stumbled upon something, you know? This is also another, um, you know, confirmation that someone has stumbled upon something and they're realizing like, damn, like with pain and torture, like this person caused them a lot of pain, you know? And maybe, like I said, being in separation with you is very painful. But it's like they, they stumbled upon information that led them to see like, you know, this is not for me. And they're going to complete this cycle. They're going to complete and wrap up. Again, this is someone I feel that could be a, a secret admirer. See, listening to your intuition. Don't back down. And this is what I was telling you. Like your person now is needing to trust what they're feeling, what they're seeing, sensing trusting their intuition this is another 22 so that is another you know very strong power number but i also feel like it breaks down to that four the way that i do it is it breaks down to the four so this is about following the heart you know following your heart what's pulling on your heart strings is to stand up for what you believe in to protect yourself to protect a union to trust what you're feeling intuition intuitively i feel your person knows that you know something isn't right something doesn't feel right you know and it's like that he's this feminine energy is holding like what appears to be like a appears to be like a heart you know and with this protection it's like they're protecting this love you know 
and someone with this Jay-Z regrets, you know, someone is really feeling a lot of regret and remorse because, you know, maybe they didn't take an opportunity in the past. They didn't follow their intuition. And this is the really crazy version of that song. So now we have Peaches and Herb reunited. So for some of you all, you will be reuniting with your past life love. This is going to be someone, see that? Look at this, reunited and rebirth. So it's something will transform and it will come back into balance. Reunited. So this person definitely is coming towards you. And I had to change that Jay-Z song, Regrets, because of the simple fact that it, like it, it, the way that it was recorded is like, like it's real slow. And I'm not listening to that. It sounds very demonic, so I don't like that. I got to delete it off of my playlist. But this here, reunited. You're reuniting with a past love. A past life love or just someone that you know is your person. You know, someone that you're in separation from. And I feel like, you know, with this rebirth, you've gone through and your person is, has gone through major changes. Enormous change. And both of you have communication intuitively. Like you're telepathically communicating with each one another. And this, you know, this, um, you know, this headdress that this feminine energy is wearing will allude to that. It's like you're receiving very strong, powerful downloads. That's why I feel like, you know, with the feminine energy, because that lady, the divine feminine um, goddess card came out. I do feel like the feminine um, Scorpios, you all are, um, you know, you have activated your person. I feel like you're... Uh, further along, I should say, in um, in the awakening process. I feel like you're in alignment um, with your, your, your purpose and your person is finding their way to you, you know, if that makes any sense. So it's like you've triggered them, in other words, to awaken. And with rebirth, yep, you've gone through major changes. You've gone through enormous change. And that's brought you to this very powerful space right now in time. Things are happening. Look at this. Spirituality. So you're very you're very strong um, in your spirituality. Like you have, like I said earlier, there is this, this strong connection. There's this connectivity to the spiritual realm. Like you've sought, you know, higher knowledge. You know, like you've devoted a lot of time to learn, to grow. And because you're so spiritual, the 77, again, you know, this speaks to divine intervention, you know, having your angels and guides, you know, stepping in and, and bringing this union together because this is a spiritual union. This is a very divine connection. And remember, I said I heard owls hooting. And so there is a sense that the two of you in this connection is protected, you know, and it's like your person right now is doing their shadow work, you know, finding balance. But I feel that you and this person balance one another. And that's why reunited is playing because the two of you will reunite and come back into union. This is someone that the divine is assigning you or has assigned you. And you have to trust your intuition. See, moderation, this changes. This 77 reduces to 14, that's also five. So there's a positive change that's taking place and all you have to do is trust your intuition. And I feel your person is also learning to do that. So your person's also doing that, which is why the two of you will reunite and there will be some positive changes. This is a green card. So this is about emotional fulfillment and happiness. This is beautiful. So why is staff unconditional love and rebirth here? Look at this. I can't make this shit up. I'm done. 27. Spiritual partnership. And this person is going to be down for you, just like I was saying. Because with that Bobby Brown song, I felt like this person was very grounded. I feel like all of you are very grounded, Scorpios, because you've already completed your karmic cycles and lessons. And now you're going to have karmic justice. But this is a spiritual partnership. There's no denying it. That's why your person is growing very sensitive. And they're persevering through some sort of spell work because it's as if you're assisting them on this journey by sending them 
you know, some sort of downloads, like you're communicating with them. There's telepathic communication or intuitive communication. Someone is definitely, you know, like listening and trusting their intuition and using discernment. But with Dead Prez singing down, this person is going to be down. They're going to be solid. They're going to hold you down, hold you up. They're going to protect you. They're not going to let you hit the ground if they was falling themselves. Like this person is going to be there for you. They're going to love you unconditionally. This is a spiritual partnership. They're also psychic. They're also intuitive. They're also tapped and tuned in. We have spirituality. See this? So the two of you are very um, divinely connected. That's, that's why I was picking up like your angels and guides are protecting this union. And I feel like, you know, your person is fighting for this. So whoever they're dealing with um, that's trying to block this, they don't know that this is leading to a new beginning, a new life. And I feel both of you could be healers. You know, the 66 again, that reduces to 12. That's three. So there's been a lot of healing, you know, a lot of healing. That that uh, number three is the um, solar plexus again. So that definitely speaks to, you know, having to heal from past trauma, from past pain, past hurt, heartbreak, disappointments. A lot of your trauma gets housed in your stomach and the stomach is often coined the second brain. So it's like trusting your intuition is what led to you discovering something that could have been taking place. Or maybe your person is trusting their intuition and they've learned somebody that they was dealing with is was cruel. You know, with life's a bitch, they learned somebody was a bitch. Like she was a, a, a crazy bitch on top of that because she was doing spell work. He done found some shit stuffed in his house, his couches, found spell bottles and shit. Like, and so now they're healing from that. You know, this three is about now, you know, manifesting something new and attracting what you desire and what you deserve, but also standing in your power and not backing down for what you know is right you know because something in his gut wasn't sitting right when it came to that feminine and that's why this connection was always protected and i feel like you were protecting them by creating you know a fiery wall of protection around yourself and maybe some of you were asking to protect your loved ones and they fell under that umbrella but this 66 here with healing they're healing right now your person is going through their healing process and they are learning the forgiveness. They're going through the same, you know, steps you had to go through. But there's going to be a necessary change, a necessary, you know, adjustment. Yep, nature is underneath that. So there's a lot of connectivity here. Um, there's a lot of, you know, of love I see, and I feel like you and your person absolutely will be coming into alignment soon, sooner than later is what I'm hearing. Like, this is absolutely, it's like, it's divinely ordained at the end of the day. I could see that clearly. So as the world turns, look at this. The world endings, every ending denotes a new beginning. So you will be coming into a union with this person very shortly. They are wanting to hear your voice. So some of you all are familiar with who this person may be. And I feel like, you know, like I said, this is like a secret admirer. This is someone... Um, that you may have like lost contact with. And I always feel like somebody's watching me. So they secret admirer. So, you know, this isn't just, you know, haters and, you know, but I definitely feel whoever this feminine is, if this is somebody that, you know, um, I am strongly feeling like, you know, this person knows about you as well. You know, she knows about you Scorpios. And that's why she's doing these love spells because she knows that whoever this person is that feels these strong, feelings for you they she knows that they have these strong feelings for you that this person cares about you and desires to be with you they know that and let me fix my cards i just noticed that some of them are up side down okay those are right this goes like this this goes like that and we have life's a bitch so yeah so this person you know life with this girl or this masculine this feminine or masculine energy is, is like, it's hell, you know? They're going through the motions with this person. But look, cut the karmic cords, lesson already learned. So this is what your person is experiencing right now because I know all of my Scorpios, most of the Scorpios that tune in have already completed this karmic cycle. So you've already learned some sort of lesson. 
and I feel like your person has learned a lesson and instead of going through the cycle all over again, they need to cut the cord. Yep, they're open, they're ready to love and open to the new. I feel like that's why you have love coming in because you've, you know, you're you're now open and receptive. Do not let anything distract you. That's what I was picking up earlier when I was saying that you have to create, you know, like energetic, you know, some sort of like um, energetic boundaries, you know, right now we have, I let a song go out of my head. I let a song go out of my head. And this is by Thelonious Monk. Ooh. So see that? And the card just did some more weird stuff. So we do got three cards that flew out. So let's see what these are. And we're going to choose these and we're going to place them here where they belong. So the first message, we got no time for fake ones. Snip, snip, snip. So somebody's definitely awaking to the fact that someone is fugazi. That someone is definitely not their person. That they've been walking around with a false mask. That they've been parading around as someone, something that they are not. And someone has seen the truth. And there's an ending here. Because that's 46. So that's an ending. There's no longer any harmony, no peace. It's the end of that because the illusion is over. There's no longer any confusion or delusion because someone's realized someone has been fake and they no longer can hide or repress or suppress their deep passion. You know, there's a yearning and a calling and I feel like it's because you're sending out the signal. You're sending out that, that message telepathically, intuitively. And it says, I let a song go out of my head. So this person definitely, like I said, is uh, either clairaudient, such as yourself, where they hear music and it reminds them of you. So it says, always be building. So there's music that's reminding them that if something doesn't make you feel good, if something isn't being, you know, isn't being built, it's being destroyed. So they were making the effort, but another person was destroying what was being built. And maybe it's because of the lies, of the illusion. Someone broke free because this is a yellow card. So this is taking one's power back. The yellow deals with the solar plexus. That's the sun that shines within. So this is about soul searching and finding, you know, the efforts that you're making in a partnership or a relationship isn't being met by that other person. So in other words, there's a lack of reciprocity. Somebody is being awakened to music, songs, you know, being awakened by the lyrics of the song, making them realize what love is supposed to feel like. You know, the lyrics in the song is reminding them of what love felt like with you. Because mind you, this is a past life connection. And they're wanting to feel that sense of emotional fulfillment again. And so they know now they're going to have to make the effort because maybe they've come to the realization that they didn't make the effort in the past. That they've let love slip away. Because it says, I let a song go out of my head. And so this song that went out of their head, maybe they're going to send you this song, the lyrics to a song. Or maybe they're going to express these feelings um, by utilizing the lyrics of the song. Maybe they'll use lyrics of a song that the two of you may have shared you know, a song that you both have some sort of affinity towards. Maybe you have a particular song. But they're going to make an effort to rebuild or to build a real connection. Because this is about stability, security. Establishing a strong, solid foundation. You know, someone seeing your worth, your value. That 13 breaks down to 4. So they want to build with you. When they, they want to, you know, compromise. They want to invest. They want to collaborate. And then we have music is my sanctuary. I can't make this up. So this person definitely feels like, you know, the music has been awakening them. There's been some sort of clarity and truth in the music. You know, music is my sanctuary. This is like breaking the spell that someone has placed on them, you know, because, you know, maybe they're, maybe you make music and maybe the music that you're making is like, you know, it's triggering or activating someone, or maybe they just hear songs, as I said, that remind them of you, remind them of love. And I feel like with manifestation, you are manifesting this. This person is awakening to the fact that you're loved, that you're beautiful, that you're attractive, you know, that you have 
you know, persevere through some difficult times. Maybe they're realizing again, you know, that they need to pursue what they desire and not just settle for less, settle for second best, but go after what they truly desire because they were being blocked. So with this music is my sanctuary and I let a song go out of my head. I feel like this person definitely has been like activated or triggered. And this is by felonious monk. So monks spend time out, you know, meditating. So your person could be like in a hermit mode, really working on themselves, healing themselves. That's the first step. Definitely spying. I feel they also had someone spying in, you know, on them. Maybe someone is spying on you because they know that your divine masculine or feminine is about to work their way towards you, you know. But I feel strongly that there is um, some eyes watching. And we have sin playing. This is called Tide of Life. So I do feel like you have history with this person. There was a lot of emotional manipulation in the past. And I feel like because with Tide of Life, there's been a lot of ebbs and flows. And I feel like it's because maybe there was someone kind of, like I said, um, manipulating someone's energy, you know, kind of like taking away someone's free will. But now, you know, they're not backing down any longer. They're, they're aware that there's someone, you know, guilty of this. And they're not going to back down for what they want. They can see clearly this, you know, strong intuition. And with apple seed, I feel like someone definitely was planting seeds. This was someone who definitely bit into forbidden fruit maybe in the past. And that was because they were under some sort of spell. And they... You know, this connection being as protected by the divine as it is, I feel like they're now waking up, you know, and I feel like it's because you you've broken free from your karmic Scorpios. So now whoever your person is, they're breaking free from theirs. So let's go ahead. See this mind on my money, money on my mind. So maybe this person is definitely like losing themselves at their job, working extra hours to avoid this person. See that? I, forgive me. I know I broke your trust. So for some of you all, um, you know, you may have someone coming back from your past also that wants forgiveness. And it's only because they see that you're coming into this union. So we have, I always feel like somebody's watching me that came right back out and you saw me reshuffle the cards and do a split. So this is your message. Somebody's definitely spying. Someone's definitely trying to manipulate you know, the energy strongly, strongly, strongly create energy boundaries, energetic boundaries, please. Because there is someone trying to study you, learn you. There's someone with evil eyes watching you. I also feel because this card, um, you know, can literally speak to anybody watching. You could have a secret admirer. And this person knows that they can't back down anymore. They need to come after what they want. And they know that this is a very divinely um, protected union and connection. Both of you had to go through those karmic cycles and lessons. This was a part of your life's lesson. It was all growing pains. So, you know, you being in separation with your person could be the most painful thing in the world. But I feel like it was all meant to bring balance. It was all meant to bring you back into balance, back into harmony overall, you know, as long as you were doing the work. And with, I can't get you out of my head playing by um, Mary J. Blige. So this person absolutely thinks about you a lot. And as I said, with the 77 spirituality, there's a lot of intervention, like downloads, like I said, lucid dreaming, intuitive messages, telepathic messages. Someone could be astral traveling and visiting you. Maybe someone is, you know, literally just, you know, um, sending you messages. And I feel like you're receiving all of them because remember I would mention this headdress. So this is someone that, that does want to bring some sort of balance. So why is balance past life spirituality here for our beloved Scorpios? So this person can't get you out of their head, so you've obviously met them. It's 10.55 on the clock, so I feel like you and this person are mirroring one another. It was all growing pain. See this? I can't make this shit up. So the two of you being in separation and, and um, 
was meant to to waken you to the to the fact that this relationship is um you know very strong this person hid what they felt because they were fearing you know fearing how they felt they was afraid to express how they felt and someone is very jealous you know because it says you have people who are in secret competition with you keep your business to yourself so someone's definitely very jealous and envious of you scorpios cut the karmic cord this is the karmic she's in a competition a secret competition or he's in a secret competition with you scorpios because you're gonna come back into union with your person and there's gonna be a lot of love passion stability security there's going to be a lot of compromise. This is going to be a very profound and strong spiritual connection. This is a spiritual partnership. Someone that you know is coming in. You're going to have unconditional love. You and this person are drawn to one another. And there's people on the sideline, jealous, hateful, envious, because their stupid ass spells didn't work. It didn't work at all. So whatever they were doing to separate the two of you, remember what the divine was saying in the beginning by Kim. Uh, it's a matter of time. Well, it's a matter of time that the two of you will come into union. Why? Because this person can't stop thinking about you. They can't get you out of their mind. They can't. And they were hiding in the past how they felt. You know, they were hiding it because maybe they was listening to their mother. You know, maybe they had an overbearing mother. Maybe they had someone that was, because remember I was picking up on someone who, um, you know, was trying to, I kind of lost my train of thought that fast, but it's almost like, you know, there's a, someone that was kind of giving them, you know, planting seeds in their head. And so, you know, listening to someone who could have been an elder or a mother figure or a sister or another feminine energy, or just even the homies, you know, maybe the friends, um, just listening to someone else, but no matter what, they couldn't stop thinking about you. And so when they started to investigate those feelings a little further, they realized like, yo, I got a passion and a desire for my Scorpio. I have a deep, you know, deep feeling, deep emotion here that I can't just push down any longer. And now they're going to be honest. They have to be honest with themselves that they want this connection and they have to first disconnect from someone that's not their person, someone that they know is cruel, someone that they know you know, was, was definitely trying to block this union or did block this union. They know it's a change that's necessary. There's a change that's necessary and there's a change that's about to take place. But this person was hiding their feelings out of fear, you know. So before we um, go any further, I want to, you know, before we wrap it up, I want to get some charms. I want to get some messages. Should I use these? Let me see. All right, we're good on that. I was going to see if we was going to use the um, Kipper deck, but they said that's fine. I want to do, um, I want to pull some charms. I'm sorry if that's loud. All right, sorry about that. Sorry about your ears. So I'm going to go inside. I'm not looking. I'm looking at the camera here, and I'm just going to pull a couple of charms. I'm going to put this back. And we're going to see what we have here. So, look at this. First one I saw. Can't make this up. Owl. Didn't I tell you all that I saw an owl? Or I heard an owl, excuse me. So, this absolutely is not only speaking to the fact how wise and intuitive you all are. But also needing to create energetic boundaries. Um, because you're growing very sensitive. Um... You have to be able to see what's hidden. And I feel like you all are. We have a uh, black rob. This is called I Dare You. So it's as if like someone is absolutely um, trying to attack you. And it's like you're, 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 because an owl is nocturnal. So they're predator birds. So they could see in the dark. So this is about seeing past the illusions, you know. And so it's almost as if, like I said, like you're daring somebody to fuck with you. You're daring you know, because you're the alchemist. So you've already healed. You've already learned to transmute negativity. You know that you're the conduit of change. You know how to create the potions and elixirs to life. You are a co-creator with source. So it's like, I dare you. You know, this is a very powerful um, animal totem. And this owl is absolutely um, 
telling you to trust your intuition, that things are transforming, change is about to take place. So whoever's coming around, um, you know, right now, I feel like you, you, you have to set boundaries for everyone, you know, set boundaries and use discernment, be wise, you know, this wise animal totem, be wise like this owl, that's powerful. Next, I see turtle. So this is telling me that, you know, you've been waiting a long time, but turtles are very like persistent. They're resilient. This is like about longevity. You know, they have this, they have this, this resilience to, to, to get to the other side. You know, they, no matter how slow they go, you know, but they're also reminding you to protect yourself whenever there's, you know, a threat, you know, cause they'll go into that shell and hide. So if, if need be. So this is about, you know, protecting yourself and, and still being, pers you know, still persevering, you know, and, and um, going after whatever it is you desire, but knowing when to protect yourself. Because remember, with that protection and then spell, you have to know how to read the room, so to speak, you know, and not just allow everybody to have access to you. You know, that's powerful, man. And next we see beautiful, this is a leaf. So this leaf is all, you know, this is about being gentle with yourself, you know, practicing healthy self-care, self-love, you know, being patient with yourself in this process. And I see this anchor, so I do feel like someone was definitely trying to hold someone back or keep them stuck and stagnant, trying to like anchor themselves or being codependent on a person or a situation. But I feel that you're, you're, whoever you are attracting to you they're freeing themselves from this anchor because they're realizing, you know, with this rope, I see like, you know, they're cutting themselves free from that anchor. Next, I see this Christmas tree. So maybe during Christmas time, some of you all may hear from your person. I feel like this person, you know, may absolutely, um, they may dare to speak to you, communicate. If you have any idea or inkling who this is, if this is the one that got away or this is the person that you always felt that connection or chemistry with and you're in separation, I feel like this person may absolutely reach out to you during the, ho the holy day seasons. I feel like some of you all will have wish fulfillment around Christmas time. I feel, I'm hearing the word proposal. Some of y'all might get proposed to. Um, we got this, uh, tank, uh, this is like a um, bomb. What do you call this? Um, hand grenade, thank you. So I do feel like for some of you all, something unexpected is going to take place. I feel like it's going to be explosive. Uh, something is going to, you know, um, I feel like it's going to change. But somebody's life, like something is blowing up. Because remember, any heartbreak. So something's about to explode, come to light. Um, and I feel like it has a lot to do with, you know, perhaps maybe someone that could be spying or doing some sort of love spells. And we have um, Boys to Men. This is a song for Mama. Oh, wow, that's powerful. I love you, Mommy. Oh, man. I opened up the reading telling you today is my grandmother's two-year anniversary, and now we got Boys to Men, a song for Mama. So this is powerful. So I love you, Mommy. But there's some explosive messages coming in. And then we have um, this coin. So this is, some of you all are going to be coming into some new money. I feel like there's abundance, prosperity, wish fulfillment. I feel like you have some sort of like a lucrative business deal, or maybe there's some sort of pay increase promotion, some sort of bonus. Maybe some of you all are getting like a Christmas bonus from your jobs. Um, this isn't anything. Neither is that. What is this? Oh, and this is a tower, it looks like. Some sort of tower. Is that a tower? What is that? I can't really make out what this is. Mama, you know I love you. Beautiful, man. This kind of looks like a tower to me. But then on the bottom, it looks like flowers. So I don't know what this is. I can't make it out. So I'm going to just call this unknown. So trust your intuition, you know, um, trust what you feel. Don't waver from that. Um, but definitely Scorpios, this was a beautiful reading. I do feel like you all have uh, karmic justice 
that's coming in. You're attracting your divine partner, your soulmate, your twin flame. It came out that you have a past life connection. This connection is spiritually protected. It is like divinely protected. I feel that your person, whoever you're attracting, is breaking free from a karmic who's you know, manipulating their energy and trying to keep them bound and stuck to them, but they will break free eventually and cut themselves off from that situation because there's a lack of domestic harmony. Um, I feel you've manifested everything that's taking place, but I also feel like a lot of you have spiritual presence, um, you know, really bringing in new love for you all. Uh, specifically, a mother, a maternal energy that could be in the spirit realm that's watching over you or just a very maternal, um, you may have a spiritual parent, a feminine energy. It could be Mama Yemenya. It could be, um, you know, any one of the beautiful, you know, deities, Oshun, Sekhmet, Set, Isis. Um, it could be Lakshmi, whomever you um, really connect with. Uh, it could be Mother Mary, Mother Magdalene, um, Sarasvati, Pele, Aphrodite, Bridget, Isis. Um, and it could be Rhiannon, but whoever it is, I feel like they are very protective over you and they're bringing you into the right connection uh, because you all are spiritual beings. So it's like they're setting you up with someone absolutely on your frequency and vibration. Um, so because you're spiritual, they're going to connect you with someone who's also very spiritual and just as powerful and in the craft as well. Um, who's also had to go through some of the same experiences as you and had to heal themselves and go through uh, their own, um, you know, activation. I'm hearing soul activation. So this is beautiful, Scorpios. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. I would claim this reading because I do feel like, you know, this is just speaking to another divine partner, um, you know, another divine connection that I was picking up on before uh, that you all have. Uh, so definitely tune in, tap into future readings. Thank you so much for tuning into this reading. If you feel that the reading resonated, please be kind. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so that you know whenever I upload. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. Thank you for tuning and tapping into the channel. If you are returning, beloved, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Until next time, peace, love, and light. Ashe.